queen back again with another video i mean as you guys know we are consistent if you're new here thank you for stopping by please don't forget to hit the subscribe button trust me you're gonna love it here and if you are a returning subscriber then thank you so so much for coming back so today is day one of our vlog and vlog vlog and i recently started pilates reformer pilates to be specific i honestly felt like i wasn't physically active in a way that i wanted to be and i felt like i was like low-key neglecting my you know physical health and stuff so we're working on it <laughs> we're working on it and since this is day one of the vlog 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 i figured let me take you guys along with me to my pilates class it is currently a little bit past half past seven the sun is in the process of rising it rises a little bit later here in cape town and we are in the process of getting ready so right now we are going to eat something very light because i mean obviously i don't want to be too full for the class and then i'm going to get ready for the class and after that we are going to head on out so i hope that you enjoy this video subscribe and yeah don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you like what you see which i hope you do one two three guys it is later on in the day and you don't even believe where i am i'm in joburg <laughs> i am in the airport to be specific so i am accompanying somebody to an event i am a plus one and tell me why i'm here but the person i'm accompanying mr flat so <laughs> It's not even my event, but I made it. So the person who's evented is missed it. So yeah, now I'm literally just sitting here. I'm trying to keep myself busy, and I can't even go to the lounge because, like, you need a valid boarding pass to pass by security to get to the lounge, and I don't have a valid boarding pass. My boarding pass is valid for Cape Town to Joburg but not Joburg to anywhere else so now I'm just like yeah I'm here by the retail floor where there's like all the restaurants and stuff and I'm just gonna keep myself occupied so the person is due to arrive in an hour's time yeah <laughs> oh my goodness that's crazy <laughs> that's crazy but I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Like it's just been such a long day to think this day started off with me going to Pilates. And now I'm all the way in Choburg.
welcome to another day of the Vlogy Vlog Vlog. So we are here at Le Creamerie. We are just grabbing something to eat. Plus I have been dying to give this place a try. I went to their sister branch in St. Trigan and the food was it was good, you know, it was good and it was very beautiful and this place is also very beautiful it's just that it's really full <laughs> it's really full so I'm not able to show you guys around but yeah, I had pizza and a pancake I almost said waffle I had a pancake as well as um, some water and passion fruit and lemonade I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I'm getting sick <laughs> I honestly feel like I'm getting sick but hopefully I can fight this flu off I'm not gonna lie and if anything I really was Cape Town already like guys I was Cape Town ah, you know like the downside of like living in Cape Town is that like you can never say I need a holiday because baby you live at the holiday like you live at the holiday like <laughs> you live there <laughs> so like it's on this it's more my skis so i can't wait to go back when we are done with what we came here for and yeah guys i just realized also that like um so yesterday i posted my vlog and mind you this vlog is from two months ago like i don't even know what's wrong with me i really love creating content guys i vlog almost every single day literally like i'm always vlogging but i just like hate being perceived <laughs> i hate being perceived i love creating content but i hate being perceived like i get so shy when like i'm aware that people see me i know right it doesn't even make sense but it is what it is so now i'm just getting the bill and then we are gonna get on out of here quick update so we are actually extending I will stay here in Johannesburg. We've completed everything that we came here to do. So now we're just here for vibes, basically. And I realized that yesterday I didn't give you guys a tour of where we're staying. So we're here at the Houghton Hotel and Apartments, and this is an apartment. I'm gonna be giving you guys an apartment tour so you guys can just, you know, see. In my opinion, I think this place is very, very pretty. It's not quite as pretty as the places in Cape Town, but it's very pretty. Guys, one thing about like being in Cape Town and like living in Cape Town, the downside that nobody talks about, like you can't ever say, oh, I want to go on vacation because baby, you live at the vacation. <laughs> you live at the vacation. Like you are on vacation all the time. Like that's the one biggest downfall of living here in Cape Town. And when you go to any other place, it's kind of like hard to like really be happy with the place because you'll always be subconsciously comparing it to places in Cape Town. So yeah, but besides all of that, this place is stunning. And let me give you guys a little apartment tour. So upon entering, you are greeted with this toilet and this is for guests. Then over here, is the kitchen and we also have the living room space and oh yeah before i forget let me actually also show you guys what is around here so this is the scullery and it has a dishwasher it has a washing machine super super cool so that you can keep your mess away from the eyes of the guests yeah and then um this is the first room <laughs> it's quite big quite spacious there's an outside area there but i'm not going to show it to you guys because it's not that pretty <laughs> but yeah this is the first bedroom we have some closet space we have the bathroom guys these double sinks bathtub shower and a toilet as well and here's me period <laughs> and now we go on to the next room so from here 
there is a passage and then this is the second room the second room is not quite as big as the first one that i just showed you guys but yeah this is the bathroom as well it has a single sink toilet shower bathtub this one is definitely not quite as impressive but it's still cute nonetheless and now we make our way over to the final bedroom so this place is three bedrooms as you guys can see <laughs> and this one is quite similar to the bedroom that i just showed you guys now the second bedroom the first bedroom is the master bedroom i'm sure you guys have figured that out yeah so this is just how it looks <laughs> cute we are here at the spa houghton spa to be specific and oh my goodness it is so so pretty i am getting a peel so hopefully that goes well especially because my skin is so so sensitive so i hope that i just get the results that i'm looking for so we have finally arrived back to cape town guys i'm so so tired i'm not even gonna lie um earlier on a few clips ago you guys saw me going to zara this is what i got from zara <laughs> i literally had to get an outfit because i obviously didn't pack enough clothes since you know the extension was really impromptu it was very spontaneous so i just quickly had to go to zara to get you know an airport outfit basically and this is the airport outfit it's really really cute and this is the bag that i was just using for the airport and we flew with sim air i'm not gonna lie guys like before the flights and everything um let me actually like backtrack a little bit let me backtrack let me backtrack so when we left houghton right mind you we left without like having booked like our return flight we were just like okay no we're gonna book when we get to the airport type thing because we weren't sure if we still really wanted to go back to cape town or if we wanted to like maybe chill a little bit or go to a restaurant or whatever so when we got to the airport we started with lyft to check if they have any flights that are leaving like within the next hour or so and we had just missed the one o'clock flight by like 10 minutes so we were like no the next flight is at four and at that point in time it was still one you know so we we're like go oh, uh, uh. and mind you when you go to the lounge you can't be there um more than 90 minutes prior to your flight meaning that we were going to be waiting for first 90 minutes without doing anything then only after that first 90 minutes were we going to be able to go to the lounge so we were just like oh that's not really an option <laughs> and then that's how we ended up flying with sim air because they had a flight that was leaving within the next hour i was a little bit scared i was not even just a little bit i was very really scared because like i'm not gonna lie guys like social media influences some of my opinions and like the stuff that i was seeing about that particular airline i was a little bit like because somebody even said that um in the flight like they don't have like air hostesses like there's somebody who like they just put a cooler bag there in front and then like you just move the cooler bag back for drinks and stuff so that's what i thought was going to be happening that's why i was even like well i, I don't know about this airline but surprisingly surprisingly i was actually quite impressed like it is a smaller aircraft so there is only one air hostess but that air hostess was really really kind their hospitality was 
amazing like in the beginning we got drinks obviously um we got food we got snacks we got another round of drinks um we got another round of snacks and then we landed and like for those of you who don't know like not with every airline where you get drinks and snacks and food included in the flights like for flights and fair for example you have to buy your drinks and snacks so it was really refreshing to see that kind of hospitality especially because i was not expecting that <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie but yeah guys that's that i'm very very tired and i'm just gonna rest now so i'm gonna catch up with you guys later the next day <laughs> for 3 p.m mind you i had to do my lashes i had to do my hands and i had to do my feet so we ended up doing pink as you guys can see and uh, you know my lashes are looking good or whatever i decided not to change my hair as of yet because i feel like these braids they're still good they're still good so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and end the video off here if you got up until this point you are so so real i do it for you i literally do it for you please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you haven't yet and please subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw so that you don't miss a thing until next time this is it from the consistent queen bye Oh, me, me, can you focus on me?